Okay, folks, so this little clip, performance coefficients. So here's a, uh, a badly drawn sketch of a propeller uh, from the side. Rotational axis, so the propeller's rotating, whatever way you want. Um, flight speed V, thrust T, torque applied Q, rotational speed omega, so the power P, capital P, is Q omega. Also, we've got diameter D, okay? Now, um, we express uh, the propeller performance in terms of these coefficients. So that means you can scale a propeller from something, maybe you can have a small propeller with basically the same uh, estimated performance as a bigger one, okay? Providing it's got the same performance coefficients. So there's a whole bunch of aerodynamics, fluid mechanics wrapped up in all of this. Uh, we like, in aerodynamics and fluid mechanics, we like to use uh, non-dimensional parameters and really that's what this is about. So, we need a non-dimensional thrust, thrust coefficient. Ct is T over rho n squared p to 4. Rho is the air density. Okay, again, all these things are on the course uh, uh, support, web support page. Torque coefficient, CQ. Q, rho n squared d to the 5, so non-dimensional torque. Power coefficient. Non-dimensional power, Cp is P over rho nqd to the 5. I don't need this diagram anymore. Advance ratio is a non-dimensional flight speed. P over nd. Efficiency. How good is the propeller at converting the applied power into useful thrust power? So the efficiency eta TV is the thrust power. And there's one more parameter that's useful and that's the um, speed power coefficient. Yes, it's a non-dimensional power, but it's also got the speed in the flight, it's got the rotational speed and the um, flight speed in it. So it's this thing, density, flight speed to the power 5 over power times rotational speed squared, all to the power one fifth. Okay, so again all this stuff is on the um, notes for the course. Uh, look at those carefully. Okay?